My name is Edwin Kisio, Lewa Research Officer. Today we are doing uh, the Gravy Zebra, Gravy Zebra Patrol. Our aim is to photograph all our Gravy Zebra in the conservancy. Um, Gravies are endangered animals and Lewa hold slightly over 10% of the world remaining population. And Lewa is the stronghold of the protected population. Our fall patrol, as I have said in the past, we do it on a, on a monthly basis, where we move out to office, we drive the entire conservancy to look for graves. Once you find the herd like the one we are seeing at the background, you photograph each and every animal. Okay, once you photograph them, you feed on a cyber tracker. You go back to the office and download the images and uh, the, the, the data, you, you download it. Then from there, you start now the processing, the analysis. We photograph all our zebras so that uh, we feed. Uh, back the images on a software so that when we do our analysis we'll be able to know each and every zebra. The gravy zebra, each animal has different or unique stripes just like the, the human fingerprint. There is a difference between the common zebra and the gravies. Gravies are larger in body size. The, the plain zebra or the common zebra, they are smaller in body size. But the distinguishing feature is that uh, common zebra has the stripes run around the stomach, while the gravy zebra, the stripes just end before the stomach. It has a gray a gray belly and for the um, another uh, difference is that the ears the gravy has broad ears while the common has a small and pointed uh, ears and the muscle the muscle the gravy has a gray muscle while the common has a black muscle and the stripes, the stripes in the gravy are small and thinner. While in the common, the stripes are very broad stripes. The zebra, they don't form, they don't form what we call harems, that's the family. But the common zebra, they form the family, where the family consists of uh, the father, the females, and the young ones. For the gravy zebra, uh, the only strong bold is there between the mother and the baby. The, the female, the male's uh, gravy zebra stays with their mother until they attain an age of one year. Then they, they move and join the bachelor groups. While the female uh, falls or juveniles, they stick with their mother or uh, different age, age classes. Males, territorial male, they, f they defend territory, they own territory, and they are faithful with their territories, and they hold the territories the rest of their life. And historically, uh, these animals, they used to roam in, in large areas, and some tribes thought that uh, their, their, their fat, their body fat, can cure some of the diseases, that's chronic diseases like asthma. And the skin, they regarded those skins as if, if, if someone owns uh, gravy skins, it's maybe a prominent in, within the community, or is somehow well known in, in that particular community. And again, for subsistence 
meat. And then before sport hunting was banned in 1977, they were being uh, sport hunted just for trophy for their skin. Hearing in our mind that uh, the grebes are endangered animal and they are now slightly over 2,800 in the entire country, it has now been declared an endangered animal. So if we let the species to disappear in our landscape, that's not really uh, portrays a good image to conservation. So we are putting our effort to make sure these, these species doesn't disappear in, the, in their range.